Now a follow-up to a story you saw first on News 4. We obtained a report detailing Prince George County's plans for a new Commander Stadium. And the vision seems to align with what Commander's Team President Jason Wright says he wants for the franchise. Bureau Chief Tracy Wilkins has the story you will see only on News 4. There's a clear vision for the commander's new stadium in Prince George's County, detailed in a nearly 90-page report obtained exclusively by News 4. It's dated May of last year and is signed by Maryland Governor Larry Hogan and Prince George's County Executive Angela Alsobrooks. We don't just want a new stadium. We want long-term sustainability for the team and the community in which it sits. It's the vision also Brooks explained during a House committee hearing yesterday as she asks that Prince George's be included as Baltimore seeks additional funding for its stadiums. I am asking you to similarly make sure that Prince George's are not left behind like we were in 1997 when a stadium opened with no infrastructure to sustain it and no infrastructure to benefit the surrounding community. The report proposes redevelopment of the current FedEx Stadium site to include a practice facility, team headquarters, hotel and conference center, a community hub, a stadium, and an entertainment district, sending a wave of development along Metro's Blue Line corridor from Largo to Morgan Boulevard to Central Avenue, Addison Road, Seat Pleasant, and Capitol Heights, some of the county's most economically challenged areas. That is my sort of business motivation is that we can be profitable and drive equity. The county's vision seems to align with what Commander's Team President Jason Wright said he wanted for the project last month. What you're able to do with a project like this